There are many different things to check in a vehicle. Checking your oil is the number one thing to check. That's because it could cost you the most amount of money. Like myself, I did not check the oil in my vehicle, and that cost me a lot of money. So I did some research, and I found why it's important to check your the oil in your vehicle. And I found that according to British leasing firm known as Flex, they report that 63% of drivers do not know how to check the oil in their vehicle. Now I'm gonna create this video in order for you guys to know, step by step, how to check the oil in your vehicle. Checking the oil in your car is fairly easy and doesn't take too much time. The only thing you need are paper towels or rags. Now, before you begin, you should check at the top left of your windshield, there should be a sticker showing how many miles or the date you have until you need your next oil change. Now these are actually pretty ac inaccurate according to cars.com. Cars.com says that you can drive your car 10,000 miles without needing an oil change, but most technicians want your money and will mostly, most likely put 3,000 miles until your next oil change. Now the very first step to do is to open your hood. Now to open your hood you're going to have to pull the latch. The latch is usually in most cars located near your left foot or your brake. So you need to reach down and pull that. Once you pull it your hood will become unlatched and the next step will be to go outside and open the hood. Now once you're outside of the car, the first thing you want to do is find the latch to open your hood. So if your hand under the hood and look for the lever to unlock the hood. This is usually found on the right toward the middle. Once you unlatch it, open up the hood and pull out the rod to securely hold the hood. Now locate the oil pipe. This can easily be found with a yellow cap. There may be some cars with multiple uh, yellow caps, so you're gonna have to find the correct symbol. This is what the symbol looks like. Once located, you can easily pull out the dipstick and observe the measurement of how high or low your engine oil is. But the mistake that most people make is that they'll take it out and measure it right away. Now that is incorrect, and you'll get an incorrect measurement because as you drive your vehicle, oil will splash up into the pipe so once you pull the dipstick out, the first thing you want to look at is the color of the oil. Now if the oil is like brownish black, you're, you're fine. But if it's more of like a milky type of color, that is not good. And that means your coolant is leaking into your oil, meaning you need to go and get that checked out. The second thing you need to check is where the oil line is relative to the min or max or the H or L in on the dipstick. Now if it's in between the min and the max, you're set and you're good to go. But if it's below the min, you'll need to add oil. To add oil, you need to refer to your manual in your car and look at what type of oil your engine actually takes. So for me, it was this type of oil. So. Every now, now and then, I'll check the oil, and if it gets too low, I'll add some more, and slowly add a little bit, and then I'll check the oil, and then add a little bit, and check the oil. I'll keep repeating this until the oil line is in between the max and the min. After checking or filling your engine with oil, you're going to want to put the dipstick back into the oil pipe, and then make sure it's secure, then you are going to want to close the hood. To do that, just put the raise the hood a little bit, put down the hood rod, and then close your hood pretty firmly. You're going to want to not slam it, but just about slam it. Now, after this is done, you have now successfully checked your oil. Checking the oil in your car is pretty important. If you don't check the oil in your car, you won't know when to change it. Now, if you don't change the oil in your car, the oil can become really uh, nasty and can be bad for your engine like it did for me. Now because that happened I had to pay for a whole new engine. According to CarAndDriver.com if you don't have oil in your vehicle that is clean it will start grinding on itself and rubbing down the engine and eventually you will have to pay for a new engine like I did myself. Now if you don't check your oil properly like I demonstrated you will end up having inaccurate readings of how much oil you have or how healthy your uh, oil is in your engine. 
So if you don't do it properly, that could cost you a lot of money. So I hope you guys learned a little bit about how to check the oil in your engine and the importance of oil in your vehicle. So with that, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you.